What's up, riders? Yeah, it's another ride home review. This week, I am going to talk about uh, the movie Eighth Grade, which stars Elsie Fisher and Josh Hamilton, and is written and directed by Bo Burnham. Uh, before I get into that, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube so that you can check out all the videos or all the movies that I've reviewed over the last couple of years, year and a half, I think I've been doing this, as well as follow on Instagram. Um, I know that um, I'm turned some stuff off of Facebook for a little while. I'm just trying to refocus and see what works, uh, so on and so forth. You understand. Um, so anyway, uh, eighth grade. Uh, follows the last week in the life of Elsie Fisher's character, Kayla, as she transitions out of junior high going into high school. Um, what I liked about this film was I really liked how it was shot. It was very real, very raw. Um, I really liked the musical interludes of how it came and went um, abruptly and how it attached, how the music attached itself to certain, certain things. Um, uh, I really liked Elsie's portrayal of Kayla. I thought it was very real. Um, I thought it was a step above, uh, um, uh, Lady Bird, um, in a sense, uh, with the situations that were there and presented and presented in such a real way and such a real world way of dealing with it. And also, um, having her be vulnerable. She didn't wear a lot of makeup. Um, and she allowed herself to be vulnerable because that's the way the character was. The character was a very vulnerable person for most of the movie. So I really enjoyed her portrayal in that regard. And Josh Hamilton was great as her dad. I mean, I just, how he didn't blow up, but then throughout the movie, you're, you're understanding why. Why he, why he reacts or didn't react the way he was. And so... So yeah, it was uh, really well portrayed in that in that arena. Um, so very, very real, very, um, and so. Now the story uh, probably isn't the most uh, uh, complex. However, it did add a lot of realism and a lot of real elements and a lot of real situations um, that you know were very authentic and having someone like Elsie Fisher go through those in the kid and the, and the uh, actors the young young actor that they used in these situations it just was just added this element of realism that you typically don't see and when I saw the rated R uh, the R rating on this I was like oh boy is this gonna be like another kids what is this gonna be um, you know, kids was high schoolers, a little bit older, um, but, and this was revolving around junior high kids, that was a little, but going in, it was more or less uh, the situations, the language, so on and so forth, so it's really not too risque in that, in that regard, but it had to use elements that were uh, going to be a real world situation so I thought they did well on that but like I said the storyline is predictable um, you're rooting for her to win there's some there's some really cool elements and co comedic moments in that uh, but eh, I mean I just thought the portrayals and the direction of the of the characters was spectacular so um, what to watch for this shot composition especially around uh, Elsie Fisher's character of Kayla, how you're right in her face, you are you are in her personal space, and that's exactly where uh, the director wants you to be, right there with her every step of the way, and um, everything else is uh, noise um, outside her box. It's noise, or she's trying to avoid the noise, she's trying to ignore the noise, or whatever. Um, and so I thought that was cool. But all in all, eighth grade. Nice, another nice uh, independent flick. Recommend you recommend seeing it. So there you have it. Uh, and that's it for this week. I liked it. So until next week. I'll talk to you. All right.